Hello again. Uh, I just wanted to uh, go over uh, a couple of guns uh, today. It's a beautiful day here in Arkansas. We are out in the country again, and uh, we've got our uh, die-hard uh, car hood over there uh, that uh, we use for our backstop. And so, uh, one of the things that I wanted to go over uh, real quick, I'm going to do a uh, a video here in just a few minutes. Uh, where uh, I was reading in a book, uh, American Survival, I believe. Uh, I believe it's Staff Sergeant Kyle Lamb. I'm not real sure if I got that correct. But uh, anyway, he does a drill, uh, Viking Tactical, I believe. Uh, they do shooting drills to where you do a 100-yard prone, 75-yard uh, sitting, 50 yards kneeling, and 25 yards uh, standing. And so I'm going to try that today with my LWRC. Uh, and I'll go over that here in a little bit. So, uh, what I've got right here is a Buckmark with an SWR Spectre II. Uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, people who already have these cans. Some people are looking at these cans, and I'm going to tell you something. I would not buy another 22 can other than this particular can. Uh, I won't go over all the specs breakdown and that sort of thing. You understand it's stainless steel, full auto rated, and will shoot many other uh, calibers other than 22 long rifle. This is a buck mark. And so I did have a uh, Ruger, uh, one of the Mark pistols. I do not like it uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I think the breakdown of it is uh, entirely too complicated. Uh, uh, but they are very accurate and uh, this trigger uh, I think is probably one of the best factory triggers that you can get so anyway I, I made a couple of adjustments obviously you can see that uh, I spray painted it I do that to most of my guns again uh, I like to make them ugly and I did the uh, I believe they're called fire sights and then of course you have the green in the front and the orange front green in the back orange in the front and so uh, the slide here, what I did is I drilled and tapped it, and I just put two screws here uh, so that it's, it's much easier to manipulate that slide with gloves on and so forth, and so it does not affect the uh, <clears throat> it shooting at all. And so uh, what I'm going to do, uh, you've heard these things uh, shot. Uh, without the cans and with the can and so on and so forth and so I'm just going to take a few shots uh, the first magazine is going to be the 1200 round uh, it's just a, a plain copper plated uh, CCI uh, and then the other ones will be a, uh, a Remington subsonic uh, I think they're a thousand or just over a thousand uh, feet per second of course out of something like this uh, the last time I chronoed uh, the subsonics, they were around eight, nine hundred feet per second. So obviously a short barrel, and uh, with the can, you're not going to get quite as uh, much feet per second. The breakdown on this is really simple: two screws in the top, one screw uh, right here. Uh, and best I recall, I hadn't broken it down in a while, but that's it. Other than the two screws, of, of course, for the handle. But uh, very, very simple, extremely accurate. Uh, I would strongly recommend a Buckmark if you're wanting a 22 pistol uh, to, to begin there. So no ear protection uh, right now. Obviously, that's going to change in a few minutes. But I'm just going to shoot that target right there. I'm going to rest against the, uh, the, the truck bed, <laughs> my old standby. And so uh, just to try to get a feel for accurate accuracy, the point of aim, point of impact on this when I put the can on versus the gun, did not change i was uh, incredibly pleased there one other thing real quick if if you i have a trust and of course these have to be engraved and so what i did is i found a gentleman here in arkansas in russellville uh he does laser engraving and so i didn't have to scratch with a awl or some kind of dremel tool and there comes my dog scared the crap out of me nice looking dog <laughs> and so uh all he did was uh he just laser engraved that, and uh, it's a boxer. If you have a boxer, you understand these dogs are uh, mostly retarded. So anyway, I'm going to uh, shoot right there, step out of the way, and here we go.
uh, that was with the, the first 10 rounds. Uh, what I'll probably do, uh, that was with the 1200 uh, feet per second. And so it, I mean, it's, it's got, it's got some noise to it. It's obviously still pretty quiet, but I'm going to take the, the camera over here real quick and let's just look. Uh, now you won't be able to, to judge these groupings real well. Uh, but as you can tell, uh, most everything is, is, is pretty good, uh, you know, for just using the truck bed. So anyway, we're going to go back over here and, uh, I'm going to set this back up. My lovely assistant just showed up. And so, uh, I'm going to cover that up. These are going to be with the uh, Remington Subsonics. And so uh, they're a little quieter, uh, you know, not a great deal. Accuracy, I mean, they're, they're pretty good. I don't, uh, I had some problems with Remington Subsonic uh, a while back. And uh, of course I live in Arkansas and that's where they're made. And so uh, uh, sent them back to Remington. Uh, Remington said, just send them all back to us. And um, they sent me 5,000 new rounds. So I can't complain about the customer service for sure. Uh, but some of the ammo was just garbage and so uh, this seems to be a lot better i really have very little uh, failure failure to fire and uh, of course i have no failure to eject after uh, adding that little bit of weight uh, to the slides